Good day everyone! This is a collaborative video discussion regarding our last topic in ICT, Computer System Servicing Tech. We are here to walk you through the internal hardware of a computer. But first, what is internal hardware anyway? When we say internal hardware, this refers to the hardware inside the computer or is a device that is installed within the computer. When referring to a drive, an internal drive is any drive inside the computer. We also have the computer hardware, which is the physical part of a computer. Let us now move on to our first topic, which is the power supply. We have here three types or kinds of drives. Optical disk drive, where we can insert a DC or compact disk and DVD. And of course, the floppy disk drive where a diskette or floppy disk can be inserted. We also have here the hard disk drive which is a, which is a non-volatile data storage device. Non-volatile refers to storage devices that maintain stored data when turned off. All computers need a storage device and HDDS are just one example of a type of storage devices. Next, we have here the motherboard, or also called as the main printed circuit board in a computer. It's the circuit board that connects all of your hardware to your processor, distributes electricity from your power supply, and defines the types of storage devices, memory modules, and graphics cards, among other expansion cards, that can connect to your PC, in which we will discuss later. Let's proceed to the connectors connected onto the motherboard and other part of the PSU. Here is the 20-pin Molex ATX power connector. When a power supply unit converts main AC to low voltage regulated DC power for the internal components of a computer. In other words, the 20-pin Molex ATX is used to give supply to the motherboard. It is evident with the number of wires connected to it. 4-pin Molex P412V, which is right over here, is used with motherboards that have an Intel Pentium 4 or later processor. This one. The 4-pin Berg connector is used with computer power supplies that connect to the floppy disk drives. SATA connector or the Serial Advanced Technology Attachment connector is a computer bus interface that connects host bus adapters to mass storage devices such as hard disk drives, optical drives, and solid state drives. Let us now move on to our topic number two, the motherboard. The motherboard is one of the most essential parts of a computer system. A motherboard is the main printed circuit board in a computer. The motherboard is a computer's central communications backbone, connectivity point. It's the circuit board that connects all of your hardware to your processor, distributes electricity from your power supply, and defines types of storage devices, memory modules, and graphics cards, among other expansion cards that can connect to your PC. And one of the components found in the motherboard is the processor socket, which is the centerpiece of the motherboard and where the CPU is installed. Here we have the power connector, which allows the electric current to pass through it for the exclusive purpose of providing power to a device. It is where the 20-pin Molex ATX is connected. Now, we have the memory slots. This slots allows computer memory or random access memory to be inserted into the computer. 
depending on the motherboard, there will be usually two or four slots. If we have a memory slot, we also have video card slots found in the motherboard. This is the slot that en enables the user to add adapter card for additional function of the system. Moving on from the slots, here is the IDE and SATA board. IDE stands for Integrated Device Electronics and SATA is the Serial Advanced Technology Attachment. This port is a standard interface for connecting a motherboard to a storage devices such as hard drives and CD-ROM or DVD drives. This is my personal favorite part, the BIOS chips and battery because of how easy it is to locate. BIOS is an acronym for Basic Input and Output System. We also have the Complementary Metal Oxide si Semiconductor or the CMOS and they set up the computer and boot the operating system. And of course, the rear connector which is located at the back of CP. This is the portion of the motherboard that allows you to connect external drives such as your monitor, speakers, keyboards, and mouse. Moving on to our third and last but not the least topic for internal hardware, cables and connectors. First, we have here the different types of ports. What is a port, you might ask? A port is an external connecting sockets on the outside of the computer like the ports found in the rear connector. This is a pathway into and out of the computer. A port lets users plug in outside peripherals such as monitors, scanners, and printers. We have 9 different kinds of ports to present to you. First is a serial port which is intended for serial type mouse and older camera. We also have here the VGA or Video Graphic Array port that is used to connect monitors and has 15 pins and is also a female port. Next is the Parallel port or the printer post that is only intended for model printer. It has 25 pins and is a female port. Apart from what Erica mentioned, we also have here the USB or the Universal Serial Bus Port which is a high interface that is used with almost all devices. It is now usually used to connect latest models of gadgets. We also have the PS2 ports that has 6 pins and has low speed serial connections commonly dedicated to an older version of a keyboard and mouse. The violet PS2 port is intended for the keyboard and the green one is for the mouse. And we also have here the power port which is obviously intended for the power cord that will supply our computer with power or electricity. The S video port is located here. S video connections which provide a better level of video performance than composite video signal are available on some source components and video display devices. If we have a port for video display, we also have audio ports which are intended for plugging into speaker or headset. And last but not the least on our list of ports, the LAN or Local Area Networking Port. This is a physical interface often used for terminating twisted pair type cables used to connect computers onto a local area network, especially Ethernet RJ45 connectors. Moving on from the ports, we'll present to you different types of cables. And pertaining to a cable is a physical method of moving data and signals from one place to another. It is made up of one or more lengths of wire, sheathed in some form of protective cladding. The cable will have a connector at either end to join the two systems together. We have here the PS2 jacks intended for PS2 port specifically for PS2 type of keyboard and mouse. We also have here the audio jack that is intended for the audio and microphone port. 
and the monitor jack that is intended for the VGA port. USB plug that is obviously intended for the USB port. This can now be commonly found on modern gadget and or attachments. This one is the RJ45, which RJ stands for Register Jack and 45, simply refers for the number of interface standard. This type of connector is commonly used for Ethernet networking or the network port. And of course, the power cord, the most important cord because it connects the computer to the main source of electricity to make it functional. And that ends our discussion. We hope that we enlightened you about the different parts and components of internal hardware and its functions. See you next time, Techno Badgers!